Robert Chesney with Realty Times News TV, here to bring you today's negotiating tip from negotiating expert John Hamilton. This is tip number two, don't leave money on the table. Perhaps the most agonizing feeling a negotiator ever gets is when they later realize that they left money on the table. Good negotiators have a number of available strategies to put pressure on their opponent and get them to share just how negotiable that they really are. In many situations, negotiations are characterized by bargaining that takes place in just a few minutes. Retail purchases in person or on the phone are typical examples. The question is how can you apply pressure to your opponents in these very short time frame negotiations? Well, Two questions need to become part of your short time frame negotiations. The first is the familiar crunch tactic where we respond to a proposal with the famous, is that the best you can do? It's a rare situation where this tactic won't work to achieve a better price or have something additional thrown in. The second possibility is a bit softer, whereby you seem to be asking for help in reaching an agreement. I can't possibly agree to that figure. What do we need to do to put this deal together? Notice what you've done is communicated two things very quickly. You clearly said you won't accept their last proposal. You also asked them to identify and verbalize a proposal that both of you are likely to agree to. Such a request is typically followed by a concession worthy of serious consideration. Which of these questions you choose is not nearly as important as the fact that you already have a technique ready for immediate use. Thank you for watching. We've got a whole series of tips to share, so be sure to join us for the next one. Until then, keep negotiating. I'm Robert Chesney.